Hey, Callie, how you doing? I'm good, Brew. How about you? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. Listen, we're going to do our uh, weekly uh, one-on-one uh, to take about uh, 10, 10, 12 minutes, and we're going to talk a little bit about your performance uh, the last couple of weeks, last month, and we're going to try to figure out uh, those things that you're doing well and those things that, that we really need to work on to, uh, to help you get where you want to be. I know if, if that's okay with you. Sure, does definitely. All right? Yeah, definitely. So let's start off with uh, how do you think you're doing? I think that I'm uh, doing okay. I think that I still would like to do better. I know that I can do better, I guess. Okay. I say. All right. Well, let's look at the seven day report. If you'll notice, uh, that you moved up from 24th place to 16th place uh, in just the last seven days. And I would say that's excellent. That's the right direction and trend. I also say that you're in the top third of all the salespeople in the company over the last seven days, and I think that's excellent. And when we look at the 30-day report, you'll also notice that you're uh, number 10 out of 47, which is a really excellent place to be. So we've got some positive things to talk about, okay? Okay, that's good. Uh, so uh, when we look when we look at uh, the report, there's a couple of things that we want to sort of focus on. If you bring your attention to it, sure. your closing percentage is 10.71%. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how do you feel about that? Well, I think it could definitely be higher. I always strive to stay above 10. Okay. So I'm not unhappy, but it could definitely be higher. Well, what is your goal for yourself? As a, closing percentage. As a closing percentage, I would say on, on a seven day, I would like it to usually be somewhere between 12 and 14 percent. Okay. You know, we would expect someone with uh, your experience level to do anywhere from 14 to 15 percent. So I think that's within the range. So that, that, that. So what it is, uh, uh, what don't, uh, what is it that, uh, that you think you need to do to be able to uh, increase that percentage. Well, I think I need to get uh, some of my gusto back from a couple of weeks ago, definitely. Right. I think I kind of fell off a little bit in the past week or so. What happened a couple of weeks ago that's different from the day? Well, we had a contest going on where there was a, a money incentive. We could win $600 for whoever okay. sold the most dish sales. Okay. All right, so it was a contest where there was competition and then there was a $600 that, that you could get paid, right? Yes. Okay, so that excited you and you got you pretty focused? Yes, it did. Okay. Well, what if we were able to develop a plan that sort of gave you sort of internal competition and showed you a way where you can make an additional $600 a week? Would that be something that you think would keep you focused on? Oh, definitely. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that. And basically, how many sales do you think it would take? Dish TV sales under the commission program that we have to uh, to get you 600 bucks. Uh, about 10. 10? Okay. All right. So if we could get you additional 10 sales a week, that would get you additional 600 bucks. So basically, what we used to do is set up a competition with yourself mm -hmm. to uh, be able to uh, do a little better than you did the day before, with the result that at the end of the week you pay yourself an additional 600 dollars. How does that sound? That sounds good to me. Okay. So, uh, how would our plan look? How would we get that uh, focus back? How would, you, how would you do that? I think that by sitting in your seat and staying available and getting your attitude right, okay. <laughs> that has a lot to do with it. Okay. Whereas, you know, in class, we always talk about attitude first because it informs everything that you do, right? It does. So, the more uh, you believe, the better you uh, do, right? Yes. Okay. Um, Let's also talk, if you look at the report, you'll notice on the cross-selling, uh, you, you didn't uh, have any sales. You know, cross-selling is when you get an internet call and you end up with a video sale. And you didn't get it. Do you want to share with me why you think that that's happened? You know, I'm really not sure because I've been focusing a lot on the cross-selling, so I'm kind of surprised by that number, but that ha that is something that I've been working on. So. Okay. Okay. Um, are you treating the, the internet calls differently than you're treating the, the video calls? I definitely do think that I could use probably a little more discovery in my internet to try and cross sell back over to Dish. I hadn't really probably worked all those angles 100%. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of suggestions to you. The first one is I think you should treat every call the same and you should use the script. Uh, I also think that you should assume every single call you get is a 
Popper Joey dish sale. And you sort of start from that point of view and have your customer tell you that they really uh, want to have internet. Can you see where that might be something that keeps you focused on the cross selling, also keeps you focused on? Oh, sell those products. Oh, definitely. I mean, especially with the Hopper Joey, and I mean, with what you sell, you could be speaking with someone, and they're calling in thinking that you're providing internet. Be they one out of ten, it might only be that one. They could get excited, and you could actually give somebody something that they wanted that they didn't even know was an option for them when they called in. So. Okay. Um, other than those two things we're talking about, what, what, what other things do you see as, as barriers to your, uh, improving your sales performance? Well, I think that I should probably be focusing more on my referrals and how to pick those up a little bit. Okay. And I, what I've been doing is I will ask for it in the disclosures, and then I always call back my customers when they get installed just to make sure that they're happy and everything's going well, and I'll re-ask. But I'm not asking specifically for names, or and I'm obviously doing something that's not 100% effective because I don't just have a ton of referrals for it. Okay, so it's not working uh, as well for you as you'd like for mm -hmm. it. And you, you feel like you're not asking them directly for a referral. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that that's probably a good suggestion. I think you need to write that as part of your plan as well. And uh, what we need to do is, is, is uh, make sure that, that you're asking directly for a referral. Uh, Mr. Customer, I'm so glad that you're uh, happy with the service. I wonder if uh, I could get uh, you to give me a referral. You mentioned that, that, that when we uh, did the sale originally, that I would uh, be able to give you $50 when I sold somebody who was a friend here. So if you have anybody in your circle of friends, that might be able to benefit from my product or service. So that's good. That's real positive. So I like that. Are you writing thank you cards? No, I haven't been. Okay. I've been doing emails, but not actual cards. As uh, you and I have discussed um, uh, on, 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 during our uh, times together, and also in class, Everybody has an account system that we need to put what we call emotional currency into that account. Mm -hmm. There's no better way of doing that with a customer than to write a thank you card. Now, a lot of people write emails, but email is a relatively easy thing to do, so it doesn't mean as much to the customer. So writing a thank you note might set them up to be able to be more receptive to you about the referrals when you ask directly. How's that sound? Yeah, no, definitely. It's something tangible that they can actually touch. Okay. All right. So um, let's talk a little bit about uh, where you are in your financial plan. I know we talked several months ago, uh, ago about what you'd like to make on an annual basis. How do you feel about where you are on that? I, I'm definitely, I, I would like for it to get more consistent. Okay. I think that... As I had mentioned, you know, I was on the big up because of the contest, and then now I'm a little bit down. I'd like to create a way that I could, you know, have it pretty steady, so I would know what to anticipate I guess, on a week-to-week -week basis. So, so how, how do you think you might do that? Getting a consistent, say, I mean, my sales consistent, and getting them up. Okay. So, so what would be the plan for that? How, how would you approach that on a daily basis? I guess just trying to focus every day on you know, either, not necessarily one more sale, but trying to do something where I'm either um, spending more time in my seat or focusing on my attitude, you know, just trying to do those little tweaks where, just to get that one extra sale or just to try a little, that much harder. Okay. And so that I knew at the end of the day that I worked as hard as I could to, to reach that. You know what's interesting about Sales Cali is it, uh, it always works back to attitude. Mm -hmm. The attitude just informs everything you do so strongly that it's your attitude that really gets you the sales that you get. So being able to focus, and, and something you said uh, earlier about uh, being able to serve the customer really is a part of that attitude. It's very positive. So that sounds great. So that needs to be a part of our plan as well. So I think we mentioned okay. attitude. Mm -hmm. I think we mentioned uh, cross-selling. I think we mentioned uh, the comp competition with ourselves and the $600 we can pay off. And I think we also talked a little bit about uh, our referrals. Uh, making sure that that's okay. Uh, you and I set up a personal development plan for you a couple of months ago mm -hmm. where you were going to read uh, several books and really start building a foundation. I know that you have a desire 
to move into the training department. Yes. We talked about having that foundation that you need to have to be a good trainer. How's, how's that going? It's going pretty well. It, um, it helps that at home, um, Dave is kind of going through the same thing where his work's encouraging him to do the same, so it helps to have someone to uh, reflect after reading the materials and we're going through a Jordan Belfort training actually a, a video series and we just started it but it does help to have someone to bounce those ideas off of and kind of talk about after you read the material so that it stays fresh with you or I guess it, it sinks in more so that's been kind of nice. So you know Jerry Weaver uh, the other uh, trainer uh, says that uh, if you really want to become okay, sure, an expert in anything, I teach somebody. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. that's good advice. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's really uh, excellent. So let's recap and let's talk about what we can do to improve your sales performance uh, over the next week and, 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 and the next 30 days. Uh, why don't you recap your plan for basically what we're talking about today. Okay, well I know that for sure <laughs> we're trying to get me even further up here, right. definitely. And, you know, really, it is going to come back to focusing on the attitude, as I was mentioning, the, the gusto from before. I just need to focus on getting back there and always assuming the sale and treating it like uh, you're getting a hopper joey is definitely the way to go about it. I think, I think following the that. script is really important. Oh, you? yes, definitely. I, I really do follow the script. I just don't think that on some calls I'm as aggressive as I should be. Okay. All right. Um, but, uh, and... Keeping my closing percentage up above, definitely above 10, but you're right, it should, probably should be closer to 15. And um, just sitting, you know, making sure that I'm, I'm focusing. And uh, then the referrals also, really trying to put a little extra effort into those to get those numbers up, because that's a big deal. One of the things about uh, referrals is that uh, they, they come through outbound calls. Mm -hmm. And when you really look at closing percentage, those sales that you get, really when, when, when they're calculated against your inbound cost, your closing percentage goes up pretty dramatic. So that's a real positive. No, it so is. So all in all, uh, I think we have a good plan, and I just want to let you know that I'm very proud of you. I, I think that you're on track to, to be where you want to be. I think the things that you talked about today where you really focus on, these elements will help you stay uh, focused. So I hope that you have a fantastic day. Uh, thank you. A fantastic week, and we'll, and we'll talk again next week. All right, I will have a good day. Thanks. <laughs>